Hello everybody, Steph Davis here from FlipThisWholesaler.net where I teach you to make more money, flip more houses, and kick more ass. First of all, happy 2015 to everyone. I hope you guys had a fabulous Christmas and New Year. It's been a while since I've posted a Q&A video. I've been doing a little bit of traveling over the last couple of months, but I am back in the sunshine state, and today I have a brand new Q&A Tuesday video for you guys. My question this time around comes from Julie, and Julie writes, Hi Steph, I'm looking at a property on the MLS, and after running the numbers using the 70% formula, it seems to be a great deal. It's listed for 89000 and I was thinking about offering full list price and marketing it for 99000 The only thing I'm questioning is that it has been listed uh, it has been listed at 89000 for almost a month. Is this a red flag or should I go ahead and go for it? I'm brand new to this and not sure how to proceed. Any advice would be appreciated. Thank you, Julie. All right, so uh, this is kind of a, um, a question that I get quite often or a lot of times I'll have people who will send me deals or things that they think are deals and they'll say, hey, look, this property is listed on the MLS. This is what it's listed for. I think it's a great deal. Um, you know, what do you think? The deal with the MLS is that you have to keep in mind that there are a lot of eyes on the MLS. There are realtors looking for their clients. There are homeowners looking for deals. There are investors looking for deals, wholesalers looking for deals, etc., etc. So um, with that being said, Typically, if a property is listed on the MLS at a great price, if it's actually a good deal, it's not going to sit there for 30 days. All right, so if you're planning on, uh, you know, if you see that it's been sitting there listed for 30 days, you run the, uh, the formula. She said she ran the formula, the 70% formula, which if you guys are not familiar with that, it's kind of the standard formula that wholesalers use to come up with an offer amount. So it's 70% of ARV, ARV being uh, the after repaired value, which is basically what a property would sell for in fixed up condition. So 70% of ARV minus repairs minus your wholesale fee, uh, and that would give you the maximum amount that you could offer. So she's saying that she ran the numbers um, and it appears to be a good deal at 89,000. Uh, a couple of things that you need to keep in mind, like I said, there are a lot of um, eyes on the MLS first of all. So in most cases, you know, a deal, a great deal is not going to sit on the MLS, especially for 30 days. They get snapped up pretty quickly. Um, the second thing, you know, that 70% formula can vary depending on where you're at. It's not really cookie cutter. Uh, in some areas, investors might be buying a little bit lower. You might have to drop it down to 65 or maybe even 60. Uh, and it can also vary by neighborhood. In some neighborhoods, investors are willing to pay a little bit more than others. So, um, you know, that's not always cookie cutter using that 70% formula. It's not always going to work. Also, your ARV could be off. Um, and this is where I know uh, Julie said that she is brand new. So, you know, she might not be um, using the correct figure for the ARV. And this is why it's really important. And this is what I always teach um, my students that. You know, before you go out there and start making offers, you really need to do some market research first so you have a good idea of what property values are, what the ARVs are, what prices investors are paying for property. So um, my suggestion for you, Julie, would be to not put this property under contract at list price. Like I mentioned, there are a ton of eyes on the MLS. So if it's been sitting there listed at 89000 for 30 days, you're going to have a really hard time finding a cash buyer who is willing to pay $10,000 more. I would go back and do some more research, take a look at the recent comparable sales, uh, 30, 60, 90 days back, cash sales, pay particular attention to those cash sales as those are typically going to be investor sales. That's going to give you a much better idea of what prices investors are currently paying for properties in that neighborhood. Also, if you can, Locate some buyers, some cash investors who are looking for deals 
in that particular neighborhood and run the scenario by them. Just let them know, hey, I'm looking at a deal over on Elm Street. It's a 3 2, 1200 square foot. Let them know what condition it's in. Can you give me a ballpark idea of what you'd be willing to pay for it? Um, and I think you're going to find after doing some more research that your number is going to have to be a lot lower than 89,000 for it to work for you. So, um, you know, it, I know it can be confusing when you're just getting started and you're trying to figure out ARVs and how much you how much you should offer. It does take time, but the more research you do and the more um, you know offers that you make, the more buyers you talk to, it's going to get easier and easier and easier. So uh, keep up the good work. Good for you for getting out there and taking action. Uh, again, I would go back and do some more research and see if you can come up with a, um, a more precise offer amount because I don't think that 89000 is going to cut it since it's been sitting there listed for uh, 30 days at 89000 So uh, anyway, I hope that helps, Julie. Let me know how it turns out. Um, that's all I have for today. One quick thing I want to mention before I wrap this up, for those of you guys who are not on my email list, I sent out some emails before Christmas about a new training that I just released. It's called the Quick Flip Ninja. Uh, this is brand new training. It is uh, about five hours of video. It's a video, um, online video course that is for beginning wholesalers uh, where I basically walk you through the entire process of how to wholesale a property. And this is um, private seller, going after private seller deals. This is not um, bank owned properties, listed properties or anything like that. So I basically walk you through the entire process from um, analyzing your market, marketing for deals, negotiating with sellers, finding buyers, closing your deals, getting paid, all of that. Um, you can find that at uh, quickflipninja.com. Um, again, it's brand new training, I think, for anyone who is uh, been looking for a step-by-step -step of how to wholesale properties, and this is designed for beginners who, um, you know, really kind of need to have their hand held throughout uh, through the whole process from beginning to end. I highly uh, suggest you get a hold of this training. Uh, that's all for today. I will see you guys next week. Have a wonderful afternoon. Bye bye.